Hey guys, welcome back to another update and tea video. This video is going to be on the girls from Girls Incarcerated Season 2. I've been busting out these videos because quarantine has me bored as fuck, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first update is on Jessie Rose, and she was definitely one of the favorites from Season 2. If you watched my previous update video, I mentioned that she was staying in a residential program because she failed a drug test and she was still participating in a lot of troublesome behavior. In October of 2019, Jessie was released from her residential program. When she was released, she went to go live with her big sister Kendra because both of her parents are kind of unstable and right now both of them are actually locked up. If you remember from the show, Jessie briefly mentioned a little bit about her father and how he was locked up for like over 200 years so I decided to do a little more research on him and I found basically a list of all of his charges. He has multiple child molestation charges, he has resisting an officer, he just has like all different types of charges. I also found a bunch of news articles involving him where he would like leave his children abandoned in hotel rooms and stuff. So he's just not a very good guy and her mother was arrested after the show as well and her release date is 2023. Jessie is now dating a boy and in January she made the big announcement that she was expecting a child. If you watched my previous update video I mentioned that she had been pregnant before but got in a fight and miscarried. However, she now is pregnant. She's about four months along. She said her baby shower is in June, so I'm guessing she'll be due just any time after that. Next is Hannah Abereg, and there really isn't that much to update on with her because she hasn't been that active on her social media since earlier this year when she met a new girl that she began to date and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing because she could be preoccupied in a really healthy relationship and not paying attention to social media anymore or this person could be isolating her but it's not really my place to speak on her relationship. However, another thing that worries me about her basically going MIA is the fact that she struggled with drug use before and in the previous months she had been really active on social media and on lives talking to all her fans and saying how she was doing good and she was clean and the only thing that she really did was smoke weed however now she's completely disappeared so i hope that that is in her best interest the next update is on britney reyes and after the show she struggled to find a really stable home life in between her mom and her dad until she met her boyfriend i'm not gonna lie after watching the show i kind of assumed that reyes was just like one of those people who didn't like relationships or didn't know how to handle relationships but this one seems completely different and in fact she is pregnant with her first son. Once everyone began to find out that Britney was pregnant she got a lot of hate comments due to the fact that she's 17 years old and a lot of it had to do with her past as well like people were just saying she wasn't ready to be a mother so Britney made it her mission to let everyone know that yeah she has a tough past but she's ready to settle down be responsible, and be a mother. Since then, Brittany has moved in with her boyfriend, gotten engaged, and her little boy, Brashar, is due in June of 2020. So the next update is on Harley Moody, and if you watched my previous update video, you would have known that she was pregnant and expecting a little girl that she was planning on naming Remy. And in early January of 2020, she gave birth to that little girl, at this point in Harley's life, she's staying out of trouble and she's focusing on being a mother. Her whole social media is just consumed with pictures of her daughter, so that really makes it obvious where her priorities are now. On the show, Harley mentioned that she was locked up with her cousin, Carly. Now, I had a lot of hope for Carly, but when she was released from prison, she continued to go down a really rough path. She was running the streets, she was disappearing, she was fighting consistently. There were multiple videos of her getting in altercations with other girls. In the previous update video, I mentioned that she was in an on and off relationship with a boy. And I bring this up because she has recently announced that she is pregnant. Everyone in Carly's family seems to be really excited for her, but I can't help but worry because there was really no sign that she was on the right track. 
Granted, sometimes a child can help change someone, and it definitely has in the past for other girls incarcerated cast members, but I just don't think that they should always resort to having a child to save them. A few weeks after announcing that Carly was pregnant, she ended up posting this picture on Facebook, and when she did, her cousin Harley commented on it, basically to like put more clothes on, and her mother commented on it telling her to put clothes on but her response to her mother was quite immature and kind of suggested that her mindset is just not maturing yet but ultimately i wish her the best and i hope that she takes this experience in a beneficial way for her life and really does change for her child the next update is on Liera Stokes, and she recently said in a Q&A video that I will leave the link to below for you guys to go watch, that when she was released from the show, she really didn't do good. Her life kind of just spiraled even more. However, it's recently turned up for her. Since the show, Liera has met a girl, and they've been dating for quite a while now. They even have a YouTube channel that they share together where they do pranks and whatnot, but she's constantly posting pictures, videos, and lives where she's with her girlfriend, so it seems like she's very content in that part in her life. She's also been using one of her talents to her advantage in life, which is singing. She's been making a lot of music, and I've listened to some myself, and her voice is actually very beautiful. Let's take a listen to a few clips. You ain't tryna come home, 3 a.m. I feel all alone, texting my phone, said you with your best friend. Next is Zariah Thomas, and she was the youngest girl featured on season 2. She was only 14 years old. However, after the show she was released, she returned to get her education in high school, and she's really low-key on her Facebook. She only accepts people that she knows. I don't really have much to update on. I mean, she recently celebrated a birthday, but overall she kind of just keeps very personal. The next update is on Tiffany Chrysler, and I remember when I was watching the show, I was so hopeful for her getting out because I wanted her to return to her daughter so she could have a chance to be a mother, and that's exactly what she's doing at this point in her life. She's raising her two-year-old daughter, Azalea. She is not with her baby's father, and a while ago she posted a video kind of explaining their situation and where she's at right now with that. Now my baby daddy is in Pendleton, which is a boys school in Indiana. Well, it's not a boys school, it's a prison in Indiana. He is in there for seven years and Azalea will be able to visit him, see him, all that whenever she gets her application filled out and shit to go into the visitation. No, I do not talk to him. No, I do not, you feel me, associate with him and I will, won't associate with him because he is no good for me no more. Period. Now, she isn't with her baby's father, but you know I gotta toss in a little bit of tea in this video. I recently peeped on her social media that this boy commented on her picture. She limited the comments on this picture to where only people that she knew were able to comment on that. I think this could be a possible boyfriend or someone that she's talking to because she replied to it with lovey emojis as well. So I'm really happy for her if this is the case. I hope that this is a really nice guy that will treat her the way that she deserves to be treated and keeps her out of trouble. The next update is on Kennedy Abuchan. I am totally gonna butcher her last name, but she may look completely different in this picture, so I'm gonna pop in a quick picture of what she looked like on the show. She was definitely one of my favorite girls because she dated Reyes, and Reyes definitely took advantage of her and messed with her mind and kind of treated her like shit. So I felt for this girl. I really liked her. After the show, she met a boy named Jalen. They fell in love and they decided to get married. And Kennedy expressed that this boy definitely saved her from going down the wrong path. Before she met her husband, he had a child with a previous girlfriend. So Kennedy also became a stepmom. And I feel like this was also something that helped her settle down her life. She had to take on the role of being a mother. And I feel like this situation definitely prepared her for her future one where she announced that she was expecting her first child which was a little boy that they are planning on naming Dre I believe she is due in May so he could arrive at any time next is Logan Johnson and the only update that I really have on her is 
In October of 2019, she gave birth to her beautiful baby daughter. According to a lot of her social media posts, she hints at the fact that she's single, she's taking on motherhood on her own, and she seems to still be having a lot of problems connected to her baby daddy. In March, she posted a Facebook status saying, bitches wanna be bold while I'm holding my baby's car seat in a store, weird as fuck. No, I'm not gonna put my baby down to fight you. What the hell, y'all just funny as fuck. Then when someone asked who it was, she basically explained that it was one of her baby daddy's past hoes that was just trying to mess with her and she said that she didn't even really care about her baby daddy anymore so it was irrelevant that all of this drama was still following her. However, she's trying to just focus on raising her daughter. It really sucks that she has to deal with shitty baby daddy issues but that tends to happen in younger relationships when people are faced with having a baby at a young age and people aren't ready. My next update is on Ariana Davis, and the last news that I had on her is when she was released from jail, she immediately violated her probation by running away, so she was rearrested and was locked up again. But the great news is that she has since been released and she's doing great that I know of. My next update is on Carissa Hale, and she was another one of my favorite girls on the show. I just liked her vibe a lot. She was really positive. And in the previous update video, it was said that she met a boy, they moved in together, and they eventually had a son together named Marshall. At this point, Carissa seemed to have it all, her life was getting straight, however, People only choose to post the positive parts of their life. And in October of 2019, Carissa was arrested for domestic battery against her baby daddy. And this was really shocking to a lot of people because she was the one that seemed like she was gonna get her life straight. But when her mugshot began to circulate, Carissa immediately nipped it in the bud and commented and said, okay, so I got in a fight with my son's father and he kicked me so hard in the stomach I started my period, so I hit him back and then he called the cops on me even though he hit me first and I got arrested because like a dummy, I lied for his cheating ass and told the cops he didn't hit me, but when the cops asked if I hit him, he said yes and showed them where I slapped him across the face and then they took me to jail. My bond was 600, I was only in there for 8 hours, shit happened, it's really not that big of a deal, lol. So Carissa was trying to explain that this was just a situation of self-defense and it wasn't really that big of a deal. And eventually, the couple got back together in hopes to work things out, and I'm sure it was also to just be a family for their son. However, in January of 2020, Carissa was arrested again for domestic battery, and there was additional charges this time for disorderly conduct. She has yet to explain her side of this situation, and I'm not going to sit here and make assumptions about anyone's relationship. However, I am going to say that it's obvious obvious that these two are quite toxic for each other. Both parties may be guilty in this case, or maybe there's an antagonizer on one side. We don't know the situation, but we do know that it's just not a good healthy environment for Carissa to be in, so I hope that she figures that out. I'm really rooting for her to find balance and peace in her life. So that is it for all the updates on the girls, and really quickly, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out here regarding the updates updates that I have on the girls. I blurred a few faces and names within this video for privacy and respect reasons because I do know that a lot of the girls choose to keep a private life since the show. However, I just want to point out that all the information and pictures that I did use in this video are available for anyone to really discover if they were to just look them up. So it's public record. I'm not digging into any of their social media accounts that are private and violating their privacy, so I just wanted to point that out.